Hi there. Welcome back to Staying Stainless with Linda. So the news has continued as to the fate of the jogger whose name was Eliza Fletcher. We are very saddened by the fact that she was found killed by an assailant, somebody who had escaped or somebody who had been to prison before and who was on drug charges as well as other charges. Um, it was an SUV, a black SUV, uh, driven by a man who quickly pulled her in and drove her to her death and killed her. The murder of Eliza Fletcher comes as not only a shock, but as a total disturbance of the community in Memphis. Eliza Fletcher was 34 years old. This woman was a teacher and has two children. She did nothing wrong by jogging and she did not deserve to die this way. So other marathon runners, other joggers, athletes have decided to finish the run, which she had started when her life was cut short. So she was jogging along Central Avenue and Zach Curling Avenue. And um, Shelby County judge addressed her family, sadly, and asked them to be calm because justice will be done. But unfortunately, she's gone. When justice is done after somebody's death, what happens? It does not bring that person back. Her two children are devastated. The whole family is devastated. Violence against women has to stop. Violence against women devastates the whole family, the whole nation. One death is way too many. Lisa Fletcher was just jogging early in the morning and she was pulled in. The suspect was found later cleaning his car with several different uh, cleaning solutions. He was seen washing his clothes in the sink. He was seen cleaning off the blood of the car. He was also traced by the U.S. Marshals. His DNA was found at the crime scene. Also, I'd like to use this opportunity to highlight the fact that Lisa Fletcher is among one of those regular morning joggers, just as like myself, who go out jogging in the morning, and then she meets a very cruel fate. Why so much misogyny, hatred, violence against women? Staying Stainless with Linda tells you to stay stainless. Those who are perpetrating crimes against women must end it, must stop it. One crime is way too many. So we grieve with the families and we are going to join other marathon runners and joggers to finish the run that Lisa Fletcher started. Women are not going to cow away, run away, disappear, and stay afraid and locked up in their houses and forget about sports and jogging and running and doing their daily exercise and doing their daily routines because of predators. So this edition of Stay Stainless with Linda is dedicated to Lisa Fletcher. Our hearts grieve for the entire family. Thank you for watching. Stay Stainless.